All right, so just wired these two into one plug, as you can see. You can't really see that good, but both fans are wired into one plug and then we're gonna run it off a uh, relay. And then we should see what it looks like. Oh, so this is the female part of the connector for the other side. So when you can disconnect them anytime you want to do service or whatever. So we just match the wires. So we did power on the ends, grounds in the middle. We're using white because we ran out of black, but we're gonna we have enough wire to for the relay. We're gonna run one relay because the amperage, I believe is like 12 amps per fan. So you combine them as 24 amps and we ran in a 30 amp relay. So we're good enough that we could use one. But if you wanna look fancy, you could run two if you want. So we're just gonna test it and see if the fans turn on. If not, why you can go forward? <laughs> <laughs> and see if they pull. Loud. Mm -hmm. So, good shit. This is the fuse to protect your fans. Um, even though the reel is almost like a fuse, but it will be. It's like a. It'll be better for this one. Like a secondary. Relay. Yeah, like a secondary. And then we also did put the relay. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right, right here, oh, right here. And then we're also gonna run the wires through the fender just to make it look cleaner. So let's get to it. power to for the fans on this wire as as a ring on the bottom this is going to be the trigger wire because it's going to do a constant on right mm -hmm. so we're going to grab one of these signal wires and see which one has key on and we're going to tap it to that one and then we're doing make it nice and good Those fans are loud. So we have it to where the ignition is on now, as you can see. So, it's gonna wrap her up and then we'll get back to yours. 